Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. For those who don't know me yet, it is Miguel. I was born and raised in Istanbul. I studied architecture in back home in Istanbul as well. And currently I am pursuing my master's degree at Technical University of Munich. And it has been two years that I am living in Munich. And in this YouTube channel, time to time, I share videos about how is life in Munich, how uh, I apply master degree and how my study is going on. I recorded the, another video about how you can apply. Now, you applied, but so what? What is next? Let's talk a little bit about this. First thing first, congratulations. I know it was a difficult journey. I've been there, I know it. That's why also I'm recording those videos because I know how hard it can be and I'm here to make it this process a little bit easier for you. And if you got your acceptance letter, please accept it into a portal. And then, obviously it depends on which country you're in, but if your country requires a visa, just just apply for the appointment there's a huge line there's a huge queue just as soon as you know that you'll get accepted just directly apply by the way i'm going to record another video in between because i know some people so i was like this i applied several universities and you never know which one you need to choose and how is it life in munich so a little bit compare and contrast video is also coming um, but now I a little bit want to mention step by step what needs to be done once you get accepted. So you get your appointment from the consulate and there are some documents. Don't ask me those. I'm not going to answer. It is in the consulate's website. It is in every possible resource you can find. And if you haven't found those, uh, maybe you didn't do enough research. So please to do so. But for example, I received these kind of questions, I took notes and I'm going to apply those. So I applied, I got an appointment, but if I receive my visa later, what should I do? Um, I wouldn't suggest to postpone your master's degree for another year. This is an option, you could do it as well. In term, there is no attendance needed, so you don't have to show up to courses, so you can arrive late, there is no problem, but maybe I mean, for academia part, there's no problem, but there are a lot of orientation events, there are a lot of, you know, get to know each other, get to know other student events going on, so you could have missed those. So this could put you in a difficult position, but if you put a lot of effort to make friends once you arrive, so it wouldn't be an issue as well. So I understand that visa takes time, and if you can come late in my situation, I got my visa literally, one or two days before university starts. As soon as I received the uh, visa, I booked my flight and I flew right away. So you could do it. There are many students in this position. And the other thing is that either you need to create a block account or you need to find someone who can be sponsored. So for Black account, back in then it was 10,000 euros, maybe it has changed. And just Google it, I see the options and I find this Coracle. I will leave the link and it comes with this also insurance. And for insurance, I chose TK as well. I would suggest that Coracle is a good one, a reliable one. There are other, so there is this comparison charts and in also internet. So you can just have a look on that as well. And um, so finding a sponsor also is an option. So if you're thinking that I don't have money, I got accepted, why should I have done and so on. I mean, being sponsor is not putting that person in a super difficult position. Maybe if you have any relatives or your relatives friend that you can ask this favor, they should live in Germany and so on, would be really cool. Then you can start working as soon as you arrive and then you can um, be okay with this money issues and so on. And I also receive a lot of um, accommodation problems. How can I find a place? Which neighborhood is the best? So I have also a video for this, um, how we can easily find accommodation. Yeah, I know it's like difficult. It is more difficult than finding a job or find, getting accepted from the degree. You ask me some neighborhoods, it depends because 
If your camp is in Garhing, I would definitely recommend U6 U6 line. Here are these metros called Uban. So I would really recommend that you search something in O6. And if you are in management campus, so the closest Uban is O2, and then you can check. Always, if you ask me the, what is the best neighborhood, I would say Max Forstadt, Theresienstraße, Josef Plus, and Hohenzollern Plus, they are my favorite neighborhoods. But I think most important thing, just be close in the public transportation. It could be S-Bahn, it could be U-Bahn, it could be tram. So anything, just try to be close to that because in Munich, I think average is 20 to 30 minutes. So if you're traveling more than that, still okay. But just, you know, like it's more important things like finding a place. And if you find a place, you said, oh, I didn't like this neighborhood. Mm, I don't know. So I would just apply everywhere. In the first place, you just need to find a place to stay and be safe. Then you can change your place and then you can find the best neighborhood that you like it. So you can discover the city as well. And I also received some questions about should I know German because university asked to do so. Um, not necessarily. Uh, there is, I think, limit for A11 or A12 or maybe, yeah, you should just finish A1 or something. But also, Technical University of Munich provides some courses to you. You can just um, enroll them and once you pass those, you meet the requirements so you don't uh, do nothing else. But you could also bring another German certificate you have and give to the university. This is also fine. But as far as I remember, the barrier is like super low. So it's not something you, you should worry about it. But obviously, if you learn German, it is better. So also, there's another YouTube video that I recorded how I can learn German. Because also it's a difficult process. But you would do it, so no problem. So if in technical university, there's this mindset, this first comes first serve. So there are German courses, yes, but you should apply uh, as soon as you uh, you can. And if you don't get accepted, be persistent. Just keep emailing them and until you get a spot. Maybe A11 would be you know crowded, but you can choose A12 or A21 accommodation as well. I took some note. I saw it now. So I would just go in every Facebook group. Apparently here Facebook is a still um, an option. I would just Google like Munich expats, um, uh, warnings or flats in Munich. So there are several um, Facebook groups. Just do your research and there are a bunch of it. If you're in a WhatsApp group of anything related to TUM or Munich, just post it there that you're searching a place. Any expats living in uh, from your country, you can ask them, you know, like I'm arriving, so I need a place. Can I stay, you know, like first one week in your place? So it gives you this, you know, safe space. Once you arrive, you can keep searching. And then through those people, maybe you get to know other people. I know that staying in an Airbnb expensive, so it could be an option as well. So it's like women with both sides. One tip I want to share at the end, while well, taking some classes, the courses for the semester, for us, for master in management, there is specific program, so we need to take those. For other degrees, maybe you create your own program. So I would definitely ask uh, previous uh, batch, so the other students, um, what kind of strategy they followed and is there anything that you could learn about it? But one strategy is common, so I suggest to everyone, so you should also consider is, um, I wouldn't maybe suggest you to take a lot of courses once you arrive because you know accommodation meeting friends getting used to the life having an adult life you know washing your dishes whatever um like cooking every meal so it could be a problem but just one thing um winters are long here right so and there's nothing to do so much during winter and this semester planning in uh, technical universities goes like this. So we start in mid-October and also there is this Christmas break. Then university approximately ends in January, February. And there is this um, break in March and mid-April. And then Easter finishes and so on. So you start summer semester in mid of April. So mid of April, June, July is goes for courses. And then August, mid August is gone for exams. And you have 
September and half of October for you. So this is how it goes. And I would suggest you can take maybe some electives in prior because yeah, winter is too long and you don't want to waste this good sunny summer days by studying. Maybe you can push yourself a little bit and get rid of some of courses. But to be honest, I failed from one exam, which was super important because I just thought that I could handle everything, but apparently I couldn't. So just, you know, like if you feel confident, take it, take more courses, maybe easy ones, elective ones, not very important uh, ones, but it's better that you start cleaning from summer. I will uh, record another video um, about once you arrive, the things you should do. For example, you need to buy a SIM card, where you should buy. Our neighbors are um, doing construction. Anyway, so you should buy a Deutschland ticket. Um, for students, there's another um, discount for this. And you need to find a place with a KBR, so you should be able to register. So it's important, so you need to do this registration, so you need to book an appointment for this and everything so it just goes on and on and please do share the questions that you have in your mind but please 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 do not you know ask me i'm going to consulate and which document that i need to take with me um it is there right i mean i know it's also tricky to understand sometimes you're not sure just go with an extra papers i would say so also i was kind of alone in this process so I took everything, I booked an appointment, I went there. So they also explain. For example, one thing uh, that's important in Turkey, there's one agency doing all things between um, you and the consulate. And I went with every document. So I was like super ready. Okay, I'm doing this, you know. And then I didn't know that I need to also pay. I mean, I mean, I knew that I need to pay, but I thought I could pay with my credit card. I didn't know that I need to bring cash. Here. It was gonna close. I would just, you know, rush away. I withdrew some money. Then I went to the exchange. I got the euros and I came back. No, no, it was a disaster. But still, I did it. So it, for me, it took four to six weeks to arrive for this um, the visa. I don't know in your country how it goes, but yeah, just I'm sure people already got this uh, would also guide you better and yeah so this is what i can share about the things that you should do after you got accepted um please let me know if you're coming here let's arrange a meetup love you love you all so much and i just want to remind you again you are not alone in this journey there are other people struggling maybe yeah, it just came to my mind. We can just create a WhatsApp group. I will like put the link so people who are coming this semester can get in. So we can literally create a community supporting each other. Let me think about it. So thank you, thank you so much. Congratulations. You did an amazing job, but new journey starting. So please do rest well. And yeah, I cannot uh, wait to welcome you in Munich. Bye bye. While I'm editing, I realized that I forgot to mention about the tuition fee. So you should pay that one. I know sending money to abroad could be a problem time to time. So I asked a friend living already here and then I paid him later. But also there's the, the transfer advice that I use while I'm sending money back and forth. You could also use that one as well. Do not forget to pay. It is not so much. Um, thanks God is not so much. That's why also I chose um, here. And yeah, do not forget that.